Congratulations, you found your way to the Math Hub. Let's go inside. When you first come into the Math Hub, you'll need to sign in with your student ID. If you look to the left, you'll see the Sign In computer. Click on the button that says Sign In. You'll be prompted to enter your student ID number. Your student ID number can be found on your student ID card or on a printout of your schedule. Here's a useful hint. Write your student ID number down on the inside cover of your notebook or enter it in your phone. Remember the Math Hub card you put your name on earlier? By the time you visit the Math Hub, it will have been filed in one of these color-coded milk crates. The milk crates are located on a table next to the sign-in computer. To find your card, look in the milk crate with your class's name on it. Inside each milk crate are several folders. Each folder contains the name of your professor and section number. Look in this folder to find your card. Once you have found your Math Hub card, take it to one of the staff members. You can usually find a staff member sitting at this desk. You will then need to decide what type of lab assignment you want to do. We'll talk about the different types in just a minute. Now you can start working on your lab assignment. Remember, you must do your lab assignment inside the Math Hub. When you are finished, take your Math Hub card and your assignment back to the staff member at the desk. The staff member will mark your card indicating that you've completed your lab assignment. Put your Math Hub card back in the appropriate folder and don't forget to sign out before you leave. Go to the sign in computer, this time click on the sign out button where you'll be prompted for your student ID and what type of lab assignment you did. Let's review what you do when you come into the Math Hub. First you'll sign in, get your Math Hub card, choose your lab assignment, do your lab assignment, get your card signed by a staff member, put your card away, and don't forget you need to sign out. Now let's talk about the different activities you can do in the Math Hub to get credit for lab assignments. The first is doing your homework. When you take your Math Hub card to a staff member and tell them that you want to do homework, they will indicate this on your card. They will also write down the time that you started. Have a seat at one of the tables and begin your homework. If you see someone else from your class, you can sit with them and work together. If you get stuck on a problem, get the attention of one of the staff members and they will assist you. When you are finished, take your Math Hub card and your homework to one of the staff members. They will initial your homework and write down the time that you finished on your card. Please note, you must work a minimum of 50 minutes on homework in order for it to count as a lab assignment. You can also complete worksheets to get lab assignment credit. As part of your course grade, you will need to complete 15 worksheets for this class. The different worksheets are listed on the back of your Math Hub card. When you have completed a worksheet, bring it to the Math Hub and a staff member will date and initial the back of your Math Hub card. This will ensure that you get credit for completing the worksheet. If you spend at least 50 minutes completing the worksheet in the Math Hub, you will also receive credit for a lab assignment. Doing your homework is a great option. You get finished with your homework, you can get help, and you get credit for a lab assignment. The last option you have for getting credit for a lab assignment is to work one-on-one -on -one with a tutor. If you want to sign up for a tutor, you'll need to fill out one of these purple forms found at the front desk of the Math Hub. A tutor whose schedule matches yours will be assigned to you if one is available. If you think you might need a tutor, sign up for one early. Tutors are assigned on a first-come, first-served basis. At the assigned time to work with your tutor, come to the Math Hub and get your Math Hub card. You will work with your tutor in the Math Hub. When you are finished with your tutoring session, your tutor will sign your Math Hub card. You will also need to have your Math Hub card signed by a staff member 
in order for you to receive credit for a lab assignment. While one-on-one -on -one tutoring is a good option, remember our tutors are limited, so sign up early. It's first come, first served. The Math Hub will also offer workshops periodically throughout the semester. Each workshop concentrates on a single topic, like factoring or fractions. The workshops are generally held on Friday afternoons or Saturday mornings. They are held in the Success Center, room 113, right next to the Math Hub. Watch for flyers in your classroom and in the Math Hub for times and dates of these workshops. Students who come to a workshop will be given credit for one lab assignment. If you need to borrow a calculator, ask one of the staff members. One will be provided for you, but you can only use it in the Math Hub. Please do not remove the calculators from the Math Hub. One of the most popular features of the Math Hub is our free tutoring that is available. This is not the same as the one-on-one -on -one tutoring that we discussed earlier. Students are encouraged to come into the Math Hub any time they have a question on any math subject. If you have a math question, come on into the Math Hub, sign in on the computer, and ask one of our staff members. If they can't help you with your problem, they will direct you to someone who can.